Gals Froggy here. That's a piece of crown molding. It's a uh, on a curve. So when they do crown molding, they have straight pieces, and then these are almost like custom made curve pieces. They're made out of kind of a rubbery, a heavy rubbery uh, material, and obviously that one was not a very good one. It cracked. It, there was no, you know, earthquake or no movement of the house structure or anything. I think probably the material just dries out and, and cracks. And um, I had somebody try and repair it one time and it didn't really work very well, so I'm going to try it myself. Here's the thing. In back of that, there's there's nothing. It's just, you know, the wall goes up, the ceiling comes across, and that goes on like a 45 degree angle. So I've got to fill in back of it before I can put something in the crack. So what I came up with is this. It's uh, one of those expanding foam sealants. It's pressurized. It's got a little tube. So I'm going to fill that area behind there with a few shots of this, let it dry. Then I've got some spackle that's supposed to be flexible. Uh, see it says flexible, no cracks. There you go. Flexible, no cracks. So after I've got some backing to it, I'll fill this in. And then I might go over the very top layer with um, like a, uh, a silicone uh, sealer thing which are which is very white which would blend in pretty good and then throw a coat of paint on top of it so anyway I thought I'd show you this it's kind of an interesting mix up of different materials to uh, fix this problem uh, so here we go let's get started some painters tape up there just uh, I don't know how quick this foam expands or how drippy it will be when uh, when it's first applied. So I thought that's just a precaution. Shake this up a little bit. Uh, let me look at the directions. Well, I'm not going to go through the list of what it said. I might have to make a hole down here to go through. That's a little narrow. Oh, there it is. I got it in. Sorry, a little bit out of frame there. Ah, oh, there we go. I see some some is coming back already. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to call that enough. I'm going to wipe that with my finger. And then I'm going to wait. Maybe I'll put a little bit up here. I think it's 10 minutes to tacky or something like that, so I'll wait a little while and there. And then come back and check it. Okay, be back in a little bit. Alright, I'm back and that filled in pretty good. Uh, I thought it might fill in a little more in the bottom, but hey. Um, now I've got something that I can build on with uh, something, uh, some kind of a, a spackle or a, uh, a finish. I, I might have to do a couple of applications here because that's a pretty big hole, but uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the top part. Uh, so let me, uh, let me see what I've got for the 
step number two. Try this next. This is something I, I had already. Spackling and nail hole filler. Uh, they've got this kind of a gimmicky thing. It goes on pink and it dries white. Here's some that I uh, that I I squeezed out about you know, three four hours ago, and I'll show you. There, it does <laughs> it does come out pink and it does dry white, um, but. Uh, Yeah, I'm just yeah, well. I'm seeing how it breaks up. Actually, I may not use that. I'm not too happy with how soft it is. It's meant mainly for drywall, and um, what I've got—it's not drywall. I might take a little bit and put some in that hole that I showed you because that hole is going to be kind of hard to fill and then I've actually also got another kind of spackling that I can use for the finish coat so yeah, let's put a little bit of on there uh, there it's, it's not focusing very well come on uh, I'm not sure why my camera is not focusing too well but let me uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, so I put some up there. I'm going to smooth it out um, with a little plastic ruler and then I'll show you. I spread that out a little bit. Now, remember what I told you, that's going to turn white and then, you know, if it's good enough, I'll sand it down and paint it. And if it's not, then I can give it one more coat. Um, this is, this spackle is uh, very easy to sand. Uh, so, I'll come back in a bit. Here you can see that the pink turned to white. I'm going to sand that a bit and then maybe give it one more touch up with some uh, some spackle or some, uh, some filler there on the cracks and then we're paint ready. Alright got as many of the bumps out as I could. I'm going to go over it one more time with this flex fill spackling paste. Get these little cracks here and over there and then I'll give it another light sanding and put some paint on it. Fingers work as good as anything else to get in those little crevices. Here's the crown molded molding it's painted now. I just have to cut in the wall color. I'll touch up the wall color where I ran over it a little bit there. Uh, there's the seam there. It's looking pretty good. Froggy almost forgot to wrap it up. This is my little touch up paint here for the wall because you know when you're painting up on the crown molding sometimes you get a little bit over on the wall so yeah, I just I just touch it up. It looks dark because it's wet and it hasn't dried yet. It should dry the same color. Uh, so that's it. I'm very pleased with how it came out. And uh, I hope you can do the same thing on your crown molding if you have a little issue, a little crack or a little something. I hope that helps you out, guys and gals. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Froggy out.